This week, Amazon introduced using alarms with your routines. Let's take a look. Hello tech friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Craig. If you're into smart devices and other cool tech, you are in the right place. Links to anything I talk about will be in the description. This is week 19 of my 2019 Echo video series. I'll put a link to last year's series two in the description. Amazon is constantly updating features such as routines. If you haven't, you can see my previous routine videos in the description too. In the past year, we've seen more actions that we can do with routines. Also, some different triggers for routines. For triggers, we've had using a voice command, scheduling a time, using a smart device, location, and using the Echo button. Now, Amazon added alarms as a trigger for routines. The way alarms work is when you dismiss or stop an alarm, this will then trigger a routine. This is great for turning on some lights, a coffee maker, telling you what's on your calendar, a flash briefing, starting some music, and other options. Up until now, you could set a time for your morning routine. Maybe you get up for work at 6.30 Monday through Friday, and you have written a routine that turns on your smart devices, gives you an update, and starts some music. Let's say you like to sleep in on the weekends. You would need to write a second routine at a later time to start those same actions. With alarms, your morning routine will adjust as the times of your alarm might change. During the week, let's say you have Monday off and you don't want that morning routine to start early, or you have an irregular schedule, this option comes in handy with that kind of flexibility. Something to note that alarms are specific to a device. This means that this routine needs to be assigned to an echo that you use as your alarm. It will only work for that one device it's connected to. This can be a good thing though. For example, alarms set on other devices won't accidentally trigger routine in the wrong room. Multiple family members can have their own alarm trigger routines without affecting anyone else. Let's take a look at setting up a routine with an alarm. First thing you'll do is open up the app, then click in the upper left hand corner and select routines. From there, press the plus sign, press plus next to when this happens, and you'll select alarm, then hit next, you could click change next to anytime and limit the hours that this alarm routine can be triggered. For example, if you set an alarm for another purpose during the day, you may not want this routine to be triggered. Under suppress, you can also set a time limit before this routine can be triggered again. For example, you can keep this routine from triggering within three hours of the last time it was triggered. You can hit the back arrow to back out of this because you don't need to change any of these options, you can leave them as their defaults. Next, you would select your actions by hitting the plus sign. You can then add any of the options that you see here, such as having your device say something, read what's on your calendar, start some music, tell you about your traffic, tell you the weather, or any of the other options here. Once you've selected your actions that you want to happen, such as my calendar and to hear what's going on today, you could hit next and you can continue to hit the plus side next to actions and continue adding things you want to happen. You will need to choose what device you want these actions to happen on. So this is going to happen on my office dot. Once I have my device chosen, it's going to listen to the office dot for that alarm. I could hit save and my routine's been created. Here's a routine that I wrote. I'll set an alarm for one minute from now to show you it. I could set that alarm with my voice or I could set it in the app. If I go to the upper left hand corner and select reminders and alarms, right here there is the alarms tab that I could select. Up top you'll pick which device you want that on. I'm going to want that on my office dot which is already selected. I could hit add an alarm. I'll set that alarm for one minute from now, hit save, and now that alarm is in there waiting to go. Here is my Echo device, and we'll listen to it go through the different steps. So the alarm is going off right now. Stop. Good morning. Have a great day.
Currently, in Agora Hills it's 63 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Today, you can expect clouds with a chance of showers, with a high of 71 degrees and a low of 55 degrees. There's nothing scheduled for the rest of the day. Little bit of music to finish off the routine. And that's it. Now let's look at the steps that I use to make that routine. So if I go into the app again, select my routines, look for the one that says an alarm is dismissed. So I set this so that it will be triggered when alarm is dismissed up on top under when. Then if you go through the actions here, it says that it'll turn my lights to this blue video look. It will set the volume to 60%. It'll say, good morning, have a great day. Then it'll give me a weather report. It'll read today's calendar. And then last, it'll play some classical music from Apple Music and it'll play for one minute. I can change that time to have it play for an hour and a half and then it'll automatically stop playing music. You know, if I wanted to save that, I would hit next. And now it's going to do that as part of the routine. And all this is happening from the office dot. So it's waiting for the office dot alarm to go off before any of this will happen. If I wanted that to happen in the bedroom, I can select my bedroom echo and then set the alarm in there. It'll listen for that echo. That's how you write them, nice and easy. I think this is another great routine addition. What do you think? Do you see yourself using alarms to trigger routines? If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell. You can check out the rest of this year's series over here. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's also a Patreon link in the description and you can find Amazon affiliate links in there too. I appreciate you watching this. Have a great day. Bye.